because I used VLC Media Player to snapshot some pictures from Laskar Palangi, I can put those into a PowerPoint. The easiest way to do that is just to drag the pictures straight into PowerPoint. So I'm just going to do that to the rest of the slides. So now that I've completed that, you can see here I have all the slides that I've chosen from that text that we're studying in Indonesian. And I'm going to use these pictures to do a narration. Now this is identical whether you're using PowerPoint on a Windows computer or Keynote on a Mac. Under the slideshow option, I can record a slideshow and start recording from the beginning. Now it's asking me if I want to keep the timings and the narration, and I do. So now, I'm just going to talk to that slide, and then I'll press the right arrow keyboard key. It takes me to the next slide, and PowerPoint has remembered when I did it, and what I said on that slide. Talk to each slide, move through the PowerPoint, progressing through it tells you how long up here on the corner you've been on that slide and how long the slideshow's been going for. So I'm just tapping that right arrow key And when I get to the end, I'm going to continue pressing to the right, and I'm finished. Now it's remembered those slides. If I muck one of those slides up, if I make a mistake, just keep on recording, because just say this was the slide that I'm not happy with, I simply start recording from the current slide. And now it's going to over-record whatever was on that slide. And when I press the Escape key on a Windows or Mac, it has just re-recorded just that slide. So now I can either save that as a PowerPoint or I can choose the option to save it as a video file. I don't really want this to be a PowerPoint. If I want to save that narration to those slides as a video, I just choose MPEG for video. On a Mac, I would export to QuickTime. 